Hello, I'm Kevin Kilbuck, Director of Strategic Marketing for Micron's NAND Flash Products Group. I'd like to spend a few minutes today to talk about our latest innovation in NAND Flash, which is this, a 64 gigabit or 8 gigabyte NAND Flash die uh, built on 25 nanometer process technology. And 25 nanometers is uh, not only the most advanced process technology uh, used uh, for NAND Flash today, it's also the most advanced semiconductor process technology that's currently available in the world. And uh, to, to put that into a little bit of perspective, um, we have an enlarged uh, photograph of this die showing the memory array where the uh, data is stored and the peripheral circuitry that's the, that's the communication port to the outside world. Um, but the memory array itself, uh, in the case of this 8 uh, gigabyte or 64 gigabit die, um, since it's using MLC or 2-bit per cell technology, actually has over 32 billion uh, storage cells. Each one of these storage cells is 25 nanometers wide. So the smaller we can make the storage cell, the more of them we can get into a, uh, into a die and the more a capacity that you as an end user would see. Um, it sound, may sound relatively simple, but it's not. There's a lot of uh, engineering ingenuity and, and process technology and know-how that, that go into uh, doing something like this. Um, so why do we do it? Well, we do it because uh, customers want more capacity. And we also do it because uh, as, if we can make our process geometry small, we can have an advantage in cost over our competition. Um, and what that means to you, we also do it because uh, you, the, the consumer, want more storage capacity. Um, and, uh, and increasing the density of the die, this is actually a doubling of the density compared to our previous highest density product, which was uh, 32 gigabits or 4 gigabytes. So we doubled it. Now you can double the capacity uh, within ex an existing form factor. So for example, on a, a 16 gigabyte flash card could now go to 32 gigabytes or a, an MP3 player could uh, double the capacity from 16 to 32 gigabytes as well and uh, not have to increase the size at all and it would consume the same amount of power as well so you don't have to uh, increase your battery size. Um, so as we're talking about capacity, this, this 8 gigabyte die actually in comparison to a, a, a CD, uh, we can store over 11 uh, CDs worth of data on this one die. Um, and in terms of uh, you know, data, that's, that's uh, thousands of songs, thousands of photographs, or hours worth of, uh, of video. Um, and when will you see this type of technology uh, used in, in end products? Well, we're sampling to customers now, and um, we'll start production uh, in the next quarter or so. So I would expect in the, in the second half of this year, you will see products on the market, such as flashcards, USB drives, some consumer products like MP3 players that will have this technology in it. And uh, if you watched my video on 3-bit per cell technology, you'll also know that as our process technology matures, um, we can uh, expand the applications. So, uh, for example, uh, products like solid state disk drives require more uh, reliability or more performance out of the NAND flash, and we'll be able to use this product in um, those type of applications as well. And uh, we're not standing still either. Uh, we're going we're gonna to have a lot more products that we'll announce later this year that use this 25 nanometer process technology. Um, and we will also, uh, we're also uh, continuing to do research on, on um, finer geometries, smaller geometries than 25 nanometers so we can uh, maintain our, our process leadership. Um, so um, thank you for your time today. If you do have any questions, uh, please uh, post them on microneblogs.com. Yeah, thank you.